we'll call. Woke up at 10. Okay, no call. Went back to sleep. Woke up like at 11.30. I'm like, all right, this nigga either sleep or he's with his family. So I'm like, eh. So I just like, I just uh, went to the gym. The regular routine. Uh, gym, acai bowl, and then that's when you started texting me. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, no, I, I was like, I woke up like at 9. Like at 8.30ish, you know, regular time. And I was like, I went to glass of water. I was like, man, I'll go back to sleep for a little bit. Then it was, it was like 10. I live with it. was like 11. I live with it. And then I went back to sleep, and Felipe called me, and it was like 12 o'clock almost. And I was like, damn. I was like, yo, I slept. That's for real. My body was tired. Like, yesterday I barely slept. So this week, sometimes another week, that last, this last two weeks. You, you cut your hair already? No. It's gone. Mm-hmm. The dye is gone. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. Eh, I, I feel like I can barely see it. Okay, now I'm <laughs> Yeah, I feel like a crazy. I was like, hold up. <laughs> no, you, you, cut, you cut it off or something? I'm letting it grow. I want it to grow more yeah, before yeah. I cut it again. So, basically, this whole week, no gym. No. Well, for two weeks, no gym. Yeah, man. How do you feel? I feel crappy. Because, yeah, it's, it's throw, I'm telling you, the reason is that, for me, the gym is not really like the, the physical. It's like, I need a routine in my life. And I feel like the last two weeks, my life has been a mess. But, like, yeah. you know. You hear somebody say that, but I think like the other person's doing some stupid things. Yeah. I'm just not. I just haven't had time to do things, so I'm really like, yo, I need to. And I think I needed to like sleep in today to kind of reset. Uh-huh. Cause I, I feel like I need to rest. I, I hadn't gotten no rest. I didn't no sleep. You, you can sleep a lot, but not rest. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. I feel like I hadn't gotten rest. So. So you feel like you slept good? Like you actually slept good? Like I, yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't know when I woke up, it's gonna be too coming. No, I probably would have slept a little bit more. Damn. Which is crazy to me because I kept dreaming. Like, I would go back to sleep and dream again, which yeah. is not normal for me. So I was like, man, my mind must be all over the place. Yeah, I, I, I had a very intense, weird dream, too. I've been having weird dreams, yeah. like, like, very like very realistic-ass dreams, too. I woke up thinking that I had a pair of shoes that I didn't have. Like, I was like... What shoes? It was like some, like, Stan Smith-looking thing, but they were, like, special edition orange ones. And I was like, oh, these are tight. I'm all, and I was like, yo, I'm going to wear these today. And so I woke up and I'm looking in my closet and I'm like, where are they? <laughs> like, it feels so real yeah. that I, I legit thought I had them. Yeah, man, I don't know what's been going on. Something with the food, uh, I think, honestly. I don't know, but lately I've been feeling like, like the dreams I have are real as yeah. fuck. Like, yeah. I'm talking about real. I'm mean, like, like, in my dream is so real. And then when I'm like starting to come to, I'm like, wait, what the fuck? Like, no, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm in normal. Yeah. Okay, let me turn this off. I'm like, no, wait, I'm, I'm normal right now. I'm like, I'm not even in like that, like, I guess that, that real word yeah. finish stage. Whatever. Anyways, man. So it's been a, a long week. Yeah, man. A long so week. Monday for sure. No matter rain, shine, thunder, whatever. I'm gonna hit the gym. You gotta get back to it. Uh, this whole week, dude. I've, I've been in the gym the whole week. Actually. For real? So Monday, Monday, I went with you. That's when we had it all. Tuesday, I went to run sprints at the park. Like I started getting like sure. my lungs Sorry, like yeah. popping. Um, there's some abs like in the in the little brain muscles. Wednesday, hit the gym. Obviously, Thursday, I just took a rest. So I, I went to get a haircut. Friday, hit the gym. This morning hit the gym, and then tomorrow, like depending on how like I feel, I wake up. I probably do something. I probably run sprints again, like early in the morning, oh, and then so just try to start getting like, then I get back into like more physical rhythm. Really. Yeah. Do I wake up? My shoulders are fucked up. I'm talking about, like fuck, yeah, fucked up. Yeah, my neck's like, really tight, man. That's more where the sleeping was than anything. You say your neck? Yeah, my right side. But um, no, I feel like a scrub lately. I feel like look, yeah, Monday, yeah, yeah. Monday went to the gym, and I was like, All right, I'm gonna get back into the rhythm, right? Mm-hmm. But because when early in the morning kind of threw me off. Yeah. So Tuesday, uh, what did I do? Tuesday? I had to do two, something Tuesday because I was gonna hit you up, but I ended up doing something. Wednesday, the same thing. I had to do something as well. Yeah. Then Thursday on the fire. Thursday I'm gonna get some cardio basketball. Mm-hmm. And it's like pouring down heaven and yeah, cows yeah, yeah, yeah. and everything. And I was like, All right, I guess we're just gonna chill. Mm-hmm. Like thankfully I haven't been eating poorly this week. Yeah. Like, I haven't even eaten liquid cuisine this week. I've actually had food all food, day, food. every day. Good, good. So like thankfully because like. I'm, I'm like, yo, you look super slim, Chris. What's going on here? You depressed? Yeah. I'm like, I'm getting worried. You know? I'm like, uh, that, that you yeah. to book up? Yeah, bro. I was like, am I depressed? Yeah. <laughs> am I like, you know, because somebody even told me, yo, you look super skinny. And I was like, and then somebody else throws in, you know, when people throw in those comments that are yeah, necessarily yeah. hurt your feelings? Yeah, you're like, they're like, no, but uh, they're like, you, like, you look super skinny. And I'm like, whatever. And then somebody else, you probably losing muscle mass. And I was like, oh. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. what we're doing here. We're just going to hurt people's yeah, feelings? Oh, <laughs> but, and uh, I got to get back into this. Yeah, bro. But, that, yeah. but it's crazy how routine works. Yeah, man. It, it, well, I mean, especially with the gym, dog. Like, yo, that that's what, yo, if you take a week off the gym, it should be, like, if you take a, re- like, a real week off, like, people take weeks off, like, like on purpose, it should be because they're not, like, on powerlifting, yeah. right? 
and they're like rest working up, working up, yeah. you know, you kind of just give like your whole uh, central nervous system a rest. But if you take a week off because like, yo, a shit happens, yo, once you get back in, after a week of not doing nothing, yo, that shit's a bitch. You get me? Yeah, like, it feels you, like heavy. You, <laughs> it's almost everything that you've done, it, it, it almost feels like, yo, like that all those soreness, all those soreness come back. Mm-hmm. But if you took in two weeks, it's going to be like, yeah, right. th- th- just expect like the soreness, right. all that shit to be like right. heavy, heavy. Intense you get me? again, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's going to be heavy for like a good like week or two and then, you know, once you start getting back into that rhythm. Yeah. But sometimes it's good though because it kind of jump starts you again. Like, so for example, like you took a pause, you probably see growth a lot, a little bit more faster. Well, I saw it. I saw when the legs on Monday. I was like, oh, look, I'm not showing you that bad. Yeah, exactly. So like that usually happens to like you take a little break, and especially if you don't be eating like yeah. shit or nothing like that, and you kind of come back, you kind of feel like, oh damn, like I'm, I'm probably lifting a little bit better. Yeah. I'm my cues are a little bit better. So it, 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 all, it all really depends. You know what I mean, yeah. so I mean, the, the great thing is always situation. as long as you go back to it. Yeah, 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 exactly. Because what we become two, then a month. Then nah, nah, that's too much. Nah, I don't think I've ever been that long. Nah, um, I've, I've done that. I'm like, you know what? Like, I've, yeah, that's, that's I've done like, yo, months. right, for whatever reason, you know, it starts getting to the month. Yeah. You know, I'll, I'll play ball or whatever to kind of stay in shape, but mm-hmm. I won't go to the gym, so. Yeah. But right now, this is probably been the longest break I've had in like, like a minute. Right? Like a minute, because sure. I've gone with you almost every week. Yeah, for like a year now. Yeah, right? yeah basically like three, at least three times a week. Yeah, at least three times a week, yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, but what I'm doing now, though, like, I'm trying to just get the big lifts on the week and then on the weekend. It's okay. Like, like, the last two Saturdays, I've been doing like abs. And like a little bit of full body, you get mm-hmm. me? But like I'll focus on abs first, and then a little bit of full body, and then just kind of drive it like that. And I've been like looking at like um like food and stuff like that. Like I don't know, you heard Doctor Sabi yeah. before. Um, so in the breakfast club they had like another group of uh like his family, like his I think it was like his um I know one of them is his grandson, his son. And I don't know what the woman was. If the woman was his daughter or something like that. But um they they're talking about like you know certain foods that you know you should eat and blah blah. And, no, the more you start looking into it, it reminds me of um, when we're in Guarapo, and you're like, oh, like, for example, like, um, well, my grandma will give me, like, you know, yeah. like, in the or yeah. whatever, regularly. I'm paying hell of money here. Exactly. So, it, it, it was kind of like the same thing, you know, like, um, they always talk about, like, yo, eating more whole foods, and, you know, fruit and vegetables, and blah, blah. But, you know, so that you don't really think about it. Even, like, I didn't even know, like, um, seedless fruits, like, you should try to eat more uh, f- fruits with seeds in it. So, for example, like, a plum or a peach. It's better for you to get like the like the actual fruit than for it to be sliced up without the seed in it because it's almost like it loses life. Like it, it's like so much shit that you don't really think about. That's like, oh damn, like maybe that does. I guess that does help yeah. you. Out. I mean, as far as like the science goes behind it, you get me. So like, as I start researching, that, I was like, damn, you can't start to think like, yo, maybe I do eat like shit. You get me? And, and that's the thing. Everybody it. eats like I think like, like crap. Like unless you're conscious, like really, really conscious. Like, it's hard, bro. Like, it, like, it makes me laugh because you, like, you, you say, right? Like, oh, if it's vegan, it's not a healthy, yeah. right? Like, you always say that. But then, I, I didn't even, again, I always get confused between vegetarian and vegan. Vegan, like, I never know what the difference is. I always get it mixed up. So then, like, um, as you start to, like, do research on that, you realize, okay, it's, like, the vegan diet. And not necessarily vegan, because vegans still eat, like, shit. Like, they'll still eat Oreos. Yeah, that's really like, 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 when you say, um, vegan, that doesn't mean you're healthy. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, you're just not eating, uh, uh, animal. Yeah, you eat plant-based stuff, or you eat, you know, whatever. Because right. uh, you can, like, you said, you want to say yourself, you eat Oreos. Yeah, you, you can eat, eat Oreos. chips. You yeah, can yeah, eat whatever. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, so I, I, guess, I guess, like, the good nutrition is eating a plant-based yeah. diet. Like, actually, like, fruits and vegetables and stuff like that. And nuts, you get me? That's actually, like, the healthy way of going but, about. But it's the problem, I think, what most people, when I see that, uh, veganism or whatever it is is that they're not mentally and like knowledgeably prepared to take on this task because like you really gotta read labels now when you're plant-based that you really gotta read labels like yeah because a lot of things are lured to plant-based and they have a bunch of like gmo right yeah, yeah. so it's like or, or you see things that do like oh peas and whatever but they also have isotope blah, 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 and they're isolating a bunch of chemicals yeah, yeah, yeah. to give you the nutrients you need because otherwise you wouldn't be able to get you wouldn't, them right and if you go the other way, then you end up having deficiencies because you don't have protein, you don't have iron, you don't have what you yeah, yeah, yeah. So it really does require a lot. I, 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 they're talking about the same thing. They're saying like, uh, for that, like protein, right? Like, so according to like Dr. Savi's thing, protein is not even like a, a thing. Like it's not real, right? Like when people talk about protein, it's like you're talking more about iron or like yeah. amino, an amino acid, yeah. mm-hmm. right? And they're saying that like, you can get that from vegetables, but you just have to eat like a, Crazy, a wide yeah, range of vegetables. You get me to get like all nine amino acids yeah. that you will need to be like a full protein or whatever. So it is. It is that's the thing. There's a lot of research on it, but like you really have to like extensively do your own research, 
and really start picking out the food that you will need. And it's like meal prep into the mix. Exactly. And, and for the most part, like, like, I don't really see too many fit people on the whole vegan stuff. Like, there is, I know there is people like bodybuilders that are vegan and stuff like that, but, like, their, their scheme of it is like, it's like, yo, the amount of food they eat is way crazier than the amount of food that people that aren't vegan yeah. eat. Yeah, I mean, it's like way more so. They're trying to keep that muscle mass. Yeah, yeah, so it's like, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm not a bodybuilder, but still, like, at, at least, like, you know, I try to go to the gym and you want to eat a cut or build some muscle, you still need to, you know, you need to get, like, at least sufficient yeah. nutrients in. And most of the people that are talking about, like, these stuff is, like, very slim, skinny people, which, I mean, cool, you know what I mean? But, like, that's not necessarily, like, the profile, you know? Yeah, it kind of yeah, depends yeah. on who, you know. It depends what you're trying to pursue. Yeah, exactly. So, I, I don't know, man. It, it's very, like, outlandish. It's, in it's a way. dieting. It's just that complicated, bro. Yeah, because, like, I mean, you're raised on eating chicken, yeah. steak, and, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're just raised on that for so many years. It's like, yo, how do you, like, And, then, and, and the other thing is, like... Nowadays, you can't even trust uh, doctors, right? Right, right. Because right. I've heard doctors tell, like, people who are vegan, you need to at least eat salmon. You need right. to at least eat salmon. Like, yeah. at least eat chicken, bro. At least eat something. Yeah. Right? And then you argue on the other side that people say, like, you, you can get all your amino acids from fruits. Right. But then some doctors are like, no, you need to at least eat this because your body needs it. You know, a lot of girls, especially, and vegans in general, suffer with low iron, right? Yeah. Count, especially girls, you know, when they get their period, their menstruation, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, menstrual cycle. And then, uh, what is the menstruation? No, that's in Spanish. No, I'm thinking Spanish, Spanish, menstruation. Oh, I like saying Spanish, man. Menstruation. Oh, okay. And so that sounds like menstruation. That's that's Spanglish, bro. They don't say masturbation. Okay. I think that's a completely about... different hey. topic, you know. But so it's like it's so complicated because there's like you know we talk about the whole idea of you can't really trust nobody anymore because coffee gives you cancer, but coffee might actually reduce yeah, the chances of cancer. Yeah, we're talking about that. Little thing. So like it goes to dieting is even more. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's a, like, an overflow of information is a problem. Yeah, I mean, like, it's too much, like, like, over, it, it's, I think that's with everything. I mean, like, for example, um, like, even, like, with, like, when you hear about investing, right? Like, there's one group of people that tell you, like, yo, you know, invest into your 401k, invest into Roth IRA, let that grow over time, that's smart, that's this and that. But, yeah, another group of people like, yo, that's so stupid, time, yeah. you do that, that's a gamble, don't do that, put your money here, put your money. yeah, I mean, so it, it's too much, like, it, you, uh, you really do have to, like, kind of go with, like, yo, you know what? I, I like your character. I feel like what you're telling me is like correct or whatever and kind of go off your own research also. But like when you when you choose who you're going to listen to, you almost really do have to like kind of go off of like a more gut feeling yeah. like, or you know what, I kind of lean towards your side. But even then, it's still like, like can you trust yourself yeah. to make that decision? Because exactly. you get what I'm saying? So you like, might that informed. It might that informed. Exactly. Because you also might be like, nah, you know what? This guy is leaning to more towards like what I like and what I'm comfortable with. So I'm probably going to go with there. So it's, it's like, too much information. You know what I mean? So you really don't know like which one is actually like, I guess the accurate one until you go out and do your own yeah, research. I think like that, the, my, at least my goal is always to find a medium. Like where is it where these two circles intersect? Right. And that may be more what the truth is. Right, right. Yeah, because there's always like, whether you look at politics or whether you look at dieting or you look at whatever, there's always like a certain truth in the middle. Like mm -hmm. they'll overlap some ideas. Yeah. And so that's usually what I narrow myself more towards. Yeah. Because if not, bro, you drive yourself crazy. Yeah, you do. I, I, you know, well, my bad to cut you off. Yeah, but but I, I think that like, you know, like what you said, you kind of do have to, in order to meet yourself in the middle, you kind of have to just put it to the test what you, what you actually feel good with. So for example, like me, if I eat too much sweets, I start feeling like shit, like automatically. Like I just start, and I know that that's already like, yo, I, I probably shouldn't do that. You get me? If I eat like maybe one or two cookies, I'm I'm fine. You get me? But if I eat like five, six cookies at once, I feel like shit off back. You get me? I've told you that. You get yeah. me? I'll be times I'll be chilling, I'll be like right at the office, we'll have a party, and they bring so much bullshit. I get so much bullshit. I eat it at once. And I'm like, yo, I feel like throwing up. I get I get nauseous. So I think that's like the middle ground. People kind of have to, you just have to kind of test out like, yo, what you feel. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. But then when I hear a professional talk, it's like, uh, do I trust you or do I trust the other doctor? Or the other doctor? Me, or do I trust my own gut? Yeah, like, so. Yeah, like, for me, it's the same thing like with milk. Like, you know, I have, I have cheese the next day and I know it. The next day, like, although right now I feel like it's swollen. Yeah. And I feel this congested. It's not even sickness because I can tell the difference by yeah, now. You know, you, you know your body. Yeah. It's just that the mucus creation because of lactose. Like, my yeah. body cannot... And I woke up this morning, bro, my buddy was making all kinds of beats. Like, I thought I was going to make a Bad Bunny Trap song, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, because of cheese. And so, yeah. but then other people are like, oh, you know, cheese is not that bad. It's like, but I don't know. I know what it does to my body. Uh, I mean, realistically, there is bad for, yeah, for your for body. Yeah. You know I mean? So, I mean, I know that. Um, but then everybody tells you when you're growing up, you have a glass of milk. Exactly. 
But like you, you know that part of that though is also like with like you're you're about I think you're headed towards like the whole politician yeah, yeah, and yeah. Then, like yo like these people make so much money. Yeah. You know I mean like yo a, a cow's milk like oh you should drink cow's milk blah blah. You know it's funny I was actually watching uh this podcast uh this weekend they're talking about that they're like oh you know. So, like, if you try to go and drink, uh, like, let's say a woman's breast milk, some people will be like, oh, that's nasty. Like, I won't drink. Like, for that, let's say you yeah, got a wife. You yeah. go try to drink her breast milk. Some people will be like, what the hell? Yeah, that's that's weird. But you'll go drink a cow's milk, which you, a stranger fucking cow from its titty, yeah. and you'll drink that, like, no problem. You know what I mean? Because we're so, like, wired, it's really true. Yeah. We're so wired and brainwashed. It's like, yo, like, it's okay to drink it off of this gallon. You know what I mean? From a cow, it's fine. But if you try to do it from a human... Which is natural. It has more, you know, health... Right. Health I mean, your baby is yeah. drinking that. Then it's weird and it's nasty. It's so fucked up. Like, how... how like, I don't know. Like, I, we were talking about this before. Like, it's like we kind of are brainwashed in a way. You know what I mean? Like, yo, with like... Oh, well, you... Again, when you're in school and they have the fucking pyramid and shit. Like, oh, well, you need to get a little bit of yeah, this and yeah. a little bit of that. You know what I mean? That, that's who you're taught. But who it, created that fucking it, pyramid? Exactly. And nowadays... A lot of people would argue you could cut half of those things off and you would be good. And you'll be good, right? But in, that's the question. But well, who did create that pyramid? You get know I me? Mean? Some type of fucking food industry or something like that. Like, you get know I me mean? trying to make money at the end of the day. So it's it's true, man. Like, it, it's you really do have to go out and do your own research and then kind of just start fitting certain things into it. Yeah. You know I mean? Like, cause it's like, like, like the more fruits and vegetables you eat, I'm assuming that's the best thing that you can do. You get know I me? Mean? But then like yo, so, uh, for me, like yo, my favorite meal is like steak and wine. Let's say, right? Like. Alcohol is bad, you yeah, get me? like for time, sure, all like all is poison to your body, and then um, eating, especially red meat, is not the best choice always. You get me? like it, they're like, oh, it's good once in a while, but it's not the best yeah, choice. Yeah. You get me? so it's like ah, so much fluctuation. You and that, like, like if you really do base yourself what somebody else says, you end up being miserable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you really do. Like at the end of the day, you really, if if you go off of that that line, like scheme all the time of like. Well, you know what? Maybe I should just eat like this, and then that's how you end up into like a crash diet or something. Like you end up eating yeah, as a way you can't sustain it. You relapse. Yeah. It's like we were talking about the whole gym, and uh, in January the gym is packed. Give it to summer, it's empty. Yeah, yeah always, man. All, well, right now the gym, right now, is not even as packed as when we first started going. Yeah. Yeah, like yo, like, it's not been like crazy like that. Like you know, going at the regular times, I'm like, it shit don't look that crazy. No, but I think it's because of summer. So I think it's a lot of the young dudes go early. We gotta see in a couple oh, of weeks. Oh, I forgot about we that. We gotta see in a couple of weeks when nah, they go to school. I think there's more uh, old people than the young people there, bro. I, feel, I still feel like I still see the same young people there at the end of the day. Like, I, I mean, see a lot of young people, though. I, I, I feel like the time range is like old poppies in the morning. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And then, yeah. like in the afternoon, it's like the 9 to 5 workers and yeah. some young dudes. Uh, I think that's I like know. usually how I see maybe, it. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, you're right. But when does school start next week? Yeah, I think in two weeks. The 20 something, I think. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, maybe. I don't know. L lately, though, it's not been crazy. It's always like that. At the beginning of the year, though, it, the statistic is, yo, it's packed. Everybody's like, yo, I'm going to try to get my body going, blah, blah. And as, as like, you know, the months go by, just uh, you see a fluctuation. Like, and then ah, by the time things even come, it's like, I'm going to eat turkey anyway. So why exactly. go to the gym? Fuck that, man. I don't know. Yeah, guys, so uh, this point, this conversation might seem meaningless, but it all goes back to one point. Do your research. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do your your body, yeah. your your body is not our bodies. Your digestive system is not digest. Your allergic reactions, if you have any, are not mine. I always say yours. I don't think you have any. Do you? No. Well, we I mean, do like get rashes plants. and stuff. Don't plants. you? Plants. Yeah. I remember, you know, the doctor they do a little, yeah. they do a little pincho shit, um, with the needles. I, I was like allergic to like certain grasses. I mean, I have bumps all over my arms though, and I think, and me and my sister, I think that's from like, uh, just like. Earth, just living, yeah. <laughs> just living. We have bumps. Yeah, like. when I got him, I was like allergic to a bunch of plants that didn't exist in Florida. I was like, all right, so yeah, just don't yeah. go to mountains. Yeah, she, she just, yeah, like I got like bigger bumps and I was like, oh, yeah, okay. but like for mine, it's like one of the biggest bumps is dust. You know, like how oh, yeah, I escape yeah, dust. Yeah, no, you can't. You're so you know, guys, do your research, learn. We want you to live holi holistically, all right? Mind, soul, body, all develop, all growing, all living to the fullness of your potential. God bless America. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll keep it going like, yeah, you know, usually we cut um but yeah so i told you this week right yo what do you want to talk about you know what i'm saying guide us lead us you know what i'm saying what, what's been on your mind lately what's been on my mind lately has been uh you know just politics right mm -hmm. just politics uh specifically obviously the gun thing um i've been thinking about it a lot and ironically we were, i was in this conference last week right mm -hmm. and the conference was about uh you know the gospel but they use this movie as a tool, which is uh, I'm Not Ashamed. The movie's called I'm Not Ashamed. Yeah. And it has to do with uh, Rachel Scott, which was uh, one of the victims of the Columbine shooting in 1989. 
Okay. So, you know, 13 people died, uh, 12 students, one teacher, uh-huh. right? Two dudes, uh, some like neo Nazi, fascist, mm. racist. Wait, what was this up? And uh, Columbine. Columbine is in. Sorry. Yeah, I've never heard of that place in my life. It's a high school. So, oh, it's a high school. Okay. They were seniors, right? And so, uh, the two shooters were seniors. But this is like a country place, I guess, like a southern. Like yeah, a I forgot where it is. Google it. Google Columbine. I want to say, I, I want to say Ohio, but I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. So, how do you spell it? C O L U M B. I yeah. Colorado. 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 Okay. Okay. So the the reason you know I was uh, ironically we're using this movie as a tool to kind of just you know talk about certain topics and that same day you know I get a bunch of no like notifications on my phone about what happened in Ohio about what happened in in the Paso yeah. and it's just kind of like overwhelming how you know. I love YouTube and I love what we do here. I joke around, but once in a while, I always feel like our responsibility is to bring consciousness to that one person. We always talk about that one person, right? Yeah. And so I, I think it's important that we all, because most most of our generation doesn't want to be political. Uh-huh. Most yeah, of the generation, like we're so dissatisfied with government, we're so like you know disillusioned with politics that we choose to be ignorant. Yeah. And that's difficult and it's dangerous mm-hmm. because it's not like because you choose not to participate, it doesn't affect you. Yep. It still affects us, you know, and so you know, as we're moving into our election year, as we're moving to stuff like that, we were just talking about you know research in the sense of you know your your body, but research in the sense of politics and what you believe, what you stand for, because if you don't, someone else is gonna tell you what you believe, yeah. and someone else is gonna elect, and then you don't get to complain after when the results don't match your agenda because you didn't get to participate. Mm-hmm. You get me? And um, the true. reason I say all of that. It's because um, our, our, our main responsibility for us as young people is to use social media, to use our voices, to use our opinions uh, to convey a message that matters, to mm-hmm. give, you know, to promote education, to promote encouragement, to promote whatever to people. Because, you know, there is this discrepancy when it comes to shooters. Have you ever seen in the newspaper how they describe a white shooter versus a, a Black, person of color? Uh, yeah. And so it's like, you know, and this is not about dividing people and saying this is racist or that's not racist. It's just that there is a discrepancy and you don't have to believe a black person, you don't have to believe a white person. You can just go out your stuff and read when they describe someone who kills as white and someone who kills as black. Mm-hmm. Right? The first thing they'll do with black is they'll describe their criminal history. Yeah. <laughs> a former blah 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 blah. Yeah. yeah. And with a white person is a trouble something. Yeah. And while that may be true in both cases, mm-hmm. that is not the essence of what we're referring to when people talk about, yo, look how they look and depict people of yeah, color. Yeah, yeah. Right? Because the media's controlling the and, and, and so and the reason I want to say all of those things is right is just to tell you that, you know, if you can speak out and that can lead to change that saves somebody's life, it matters. Mm-hmm. You know, we always talk, you know, we've had discussions about a depression and, and suicidal thoughts and speaking out on those things, right? Mental health, speaking out on those things, physical health, speaking out on those things. You know, politics, gun violence, racism, all those things, you should have your stance on those things. Mm-hmm. They matter, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're, we're becoming a country that's very divisive. Mm-hmm. And we're still the role model of most nations. So they look to this country and they're yeah. like, oh, that country's screwed. The world is screwed, right? Mm-hmm. And so we, we need to just have some man- some consciousness, some mindfulness, and, and most importantly, some compassion. Yeah. I, I think a lot of us, we get so caught up in, in our stance that we don't convey or give opportunity to a discussion. Mm-hmm. And I'm down, we believe conversation matters. Yeah. We believe that George and I disagree on a lot of things. <laughs> a lot of things. But... You know, the thing that binds us together is that we have respect for one another. Mm-hmm. It's like, no matter, I can say, George, you're an idiot in this topic, but I love you no matter what. Mm-hmm. And I think that that is the compassion that we need as, as people, as young people, as a nation. We can disagree, you know, you can say there is no racism. Or you can say, oh, the race, there's only the human race. Or, no, black lives don't matter, all lives matter. You, whatever your stance is, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, just have the compassion where you can hear somebody else and you'll find out that, their knowledge and their experience may teach you something you don't know. Because a lot of times we're blinded by our own experiences and our own color and our own life, right? Mm-hmm. You know, like, we have some, some t- tendencies, we have some perceptions, we have some paradigms that don't align. And because somebody tells us we're wrong, we might get defensive and we don't allow for conversation to build and for growth to build, you know? The nation was built on consciousness, saying, hey, we want to be different than what we have seen before, right? That's the whole idea of coming yeah. from England, saying we have been oppressed, yeah. now we don't want to be the same way. But then, you know, slavery happened. That was a pressure to a whole race, a race of people. Mm-hmm. And it's like, wait, somebody had to say this is wrong. Yeah. And, you know, then Abraham Lincoln comes, uh, you know, the Emancipation Proclamation. And so throughout history, you've seen that we made a bunch of mistakes. 
But it's when we communicate and we convey messages and we continue fighting for the good fight, mm-hmm. right? Whatever that fight means for you, is that we see growth. Mm-hmm. And, and I think that as humanity, you say it's like the human race is what matters. As humanity, if we grow too content or too complacent or too just eh, careless with what's going on, we're going to end up causing the worst damage to the generations to come. Well, I mean, if you really look at it, though, we're we already on that track. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, and, and not to get too much off topic, but at the same time, like, I think that everybody is already focused on just me. You know what I mean? What's going to get me ahead? What's going to, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I don't really care about that. It has nothing to do with me. And, I mean, look at global warming. I, I read something, um, not that long ago, that supposedly, right? Uh, I'm going to say allegedly because I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> allegedly. I love that word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love I don't, that word. I'm not 100% sure how factual this is, but we have 18 months to uh, reverse global warming or reverse, um, be forced un- unrepairable. I mean, realistically, that's not going to happen. You know what I mean? Because everybody's stuck in their ways. Everybody wants to continue to eat me. Everybody wants to continue to fuck up land. Nobody gives a shit about pollution. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, it's not a big thing and nobody gives a shit, but realistically, it's going to be too late. You know what I mean? And, for the most part, for the generations to come, they're fucked if they're even here anyway. They're, they're still living. They're still alive, that, yeah. You know what I mean? So, I mean, like, it, it, in, in, that same, in that same temple, if when you talk about politics, you know, you learn about politics in the school, you're not paying attention to that shit. Most people are like, I don't give a fuck, whatever. It I'm just trying matter, to yeah. get through this shit. And mm-hmm. yeah, I'm like, nobody cares. You know what I mean? Nobody. Right now, what people care about is, oh, what is Trump doing? So I could just talk shit on Twitter, I could talk shit on Instagram. You know what I mean? Oh, um, right now, you know, the, this whole deportation yeah. with ICE and shit, that's the biggest thing I've seen in almost everybody's uh, little girl was crying. I appreciate yeah, you yeah, seeing that at this point, right? Everybody's been reposting that because they're First day of school, them. bro. Right. And everybody's like, oh my God, my heart's broken. That's what everybody's looking at. Yeah, I mean, everybody's looking at like, oh, well, what am I going to treat Trump about now? Yeah, I mean, like, nobody really knows about Trump's policies like that. Go ask somebody, oh, what are Trump's policies? Most people He's don't racist. know shit. He's racist. Yeah, most people don't know shit. Yeah, they, they have no clue. They just know, oh, the guy's a fucking racist. He's a clown. He's fucking uh, a womanizer or whatever the fuck it is. Get me? So nobody's really focused or trying to pay attention, like you said, trying to educate themselves on what they should be. They're just, you know, on the on the bandwagon of what the fuck is going yeah. on. You and, and, and I think, like, you know, don't, if you are watching this, don't think that we're trying to tell you how to think. Nah. We're trying to tell you to think. You know, one of my favorite quotes is, um, is by, I think he was a, he was a priest in, in the Holocaust, right? And he goes, uh, and I'm going to kind of chop it off because I don't remember completely, but he goes... You know, first they came for the Jews, and since I wasn't a Jew, I stayed quiet. Mm-hmm. Then they came for the homosexuals, I wasn't homosexual, I stayed quiet. Then they came, and then he goes on, he goes, and then they came for me. Yeah. And there was nobody to speak out for me because I didn't speak out for them. Mm-hmm. And, and I think that that's the danger. They just, when we're thinking, oh, I'm just worried about me. We're acting like some of the things don't affect you. You know, whoever gets taxed still affects you. Whatever, in, like, importation tax still affects you. Mm-hmm. Because guess what? Your gas prices go up. Mm-hmm. You know, like your the products you're buying go up. You know, uh, immigration may not affect you because you're like, I was born here. My family's born here. Mm-hmm. But it does affect somebody you know, I guarantee you. Especially if you're in a city like Miami. Yeah. It yeah. affects somebody you know. So, you know, just because it doesn't directly, quote unquote, affect you, you may not realize that your lack of participation, your lack of knowledge is impact- affecting somebody you care yeah. about. I mean, it's like uh, Martin Luther King, right? Um, I'm going to paraphrase this too because he said on the lines of, an injustice anywhere is an injustice everywhere. Yeah, I mean, that's so true. Like, yo, it just, just because uh, at one part of the world that uh, one specific race or one person got fucked over because of something, you think that, oh, it only stays there and that's it. No, that shit's going to come. It's a ripple That shit going to definitely come back to you. Yeah. I mean, fuck you up in your own place too. You yeah, I mean? So people aren't necessarily aware of that. Yeah, I mean? Because again, if it doesn't affect you at the moment, you, you don't think, give yeah, a yeah, shit. Because yeah, yeah, most yeah. people are thinking more self- selfishly. You yeah, I mean? Look, the the... One of the realest things I think that we've talked about so far is um, the Bible verse, the whole, you know, life is, you know, eager, food, whatever, whatever, praise God, right? Yeah. It, it's, dude, people here right now, when you really just kind of just stop and really think about life, right? A lot of people are hustling right now, right? Hustling, 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 so that they can have a, a, good, a great job, and a great job literally just means great income. That's yeah. all it really means for most people, you get me? No matter what the fuck you do, yeah, as long as you have great income. income. That, that's really you're getting paid up, you're good. Exactly, that's really what, what it means. And everybody's hustling so that they can have a, a bunch of nice shit, a bunch of nice things, you get me? But nobody gives a shit about, like you said, you know, trying to use the platforms that we have, trying to use the voice that you have to deliver a message, to convey a message. Like, there's people that are super successful, and they use platforms to convey a message to make other people's lives better. Right, yo, this is how you can obtain success. And blah, 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 Drop blah. some nuggets. Exactly, right? And that's that's great, yeah, because now you may come from a hard place, so you may try to, you know, uh, 
elevate your life or whatever. You get me? And you pay that forward. When you, when you look, for example, let's say you're a multimillionaire and you're on YouTube talking about how you can invest your money or real estate or podcast, whatever. It doesn't matter, right? You're conveying something that somebody can do so they can also change their yep. lives, right? Mm-hmm. And I go ahead, I'm watching you. I learned what you did. I took it into action. I learned it. Now I can pay it forward. You get yeah. me? Now when a little kid asks me or somebody younger or older, it doesn't matter. Hey, it's like, how did you obtain your sex? Well, look, you know, I learned X, Y, and yeah. Z, and that's how you pay it forward. You get me? Again, a platform doesn't mean social media. Doesn't you know, a platform could be in your own home. Yeah, you your me? neighbor. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You get me? Just your voice is a platform yeah. in itself. You know what I mean? And you use that to pay for it. But yeah. most people aren't worried. Most people are just worried about, yo, me, 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 me. What's going to be me, 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 And nobody cares about, like, you know, what the future holds. Yo, the nice house, all that stuff is dope. You get me? It's cool for the moment. But that shit doesn't matter. Because then, it's true. When you die, you're going to you're gonna fucking die. Like, Drake uh, said in the song, right? Like, when I die, bury me with all my yeah, money. Like, yeah, it doesn't make a difference. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You get me? Like, yo, you die, you die. Like, it, it's so true when I hear, um, it's almost like this. Think of it like this. It's like life is a simulation because realistically it is like a simulation, right? And especially like uh, uh, let's let's go on your path, right? Like on the path of faith. It's like I have been thinking like yo, so it's true though. Like your soul could be in the middle ground somewhere, and your soul is playing the simulation of what you think is real life right now. And you, you got the decision. You're just living it out. Yeah, and when you die in this sense, then you're just gonna die in real life in in the sense, right? Like your soul is really gonna die. It's gonna go to the proper place that it needs to go to, right? It's like the Matrix. Yeah. So in in order in the Matrix, I didn't never you. Know, I've watched the Matrix so many times in my life, and it, it didn't hit me until later on. And I realized, holy fuck, that shit's like real shit. Like you know, in the Matrix when you die in the Matrix, you die in real yeah. life. But in the Matrix, when they're not inside the Matrix, they're actually fighting. Like yo, they're they're dressed. No, nobody gives a fuck. They're eating food that this is a hundred percent nutritious for them. It doesn't even taste good. Yeah, I mean they're eating food that's like yo, it has all the nutrients that your body needs in this fucking little bowl of crap. Yeah, you know I mean. And they're trying to fight for, like, freedom, for whatever, yeah. you know what I mean? But then when they're in the Matrix, it's like, you know, the city and, and you know, 9 to 5 and shit going. Shit that doesn't fucking matter, you know what I mean? It literally does not matter, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, people don't give a shit because people aren't focused on yeah. what they should be focused well, on. And, and I think, um, you know, just I'll give you one quote that I, when you said, when you talking about the whole thing. You know, Rich Wilkerson Jr. said it like this. He said, you know, leadership... Right, Rich? Good Rich, we love Rich. Rich. We stand for Rich. <laughs> right, Rich, he said, he said, leadership is just influence. It's, and, and so, you know, a lot, a lot of times we encourage you guys to lead, right? Not to be a follower of anybody, just have the knowledge to lead. And it's just having influence to say, hey man, I learned a little bit more, I can teach you a little bit more, mm-hmm. right? Uh, that was just to add on to what you were saying. But another thing is that we don't realize that these platforms are still affecting us anyways and affecting the way we think. You know, the whole big deal was this thing with Facebook and Zuckerberg. Maybe you guys don't know, oh, yeah, yeah. but he, you know, he was brought before Congress yeah. because it was shown, statistically shown, that Facebook affected the elections. Yeah, and the Russians actually yeah. like, had... Uh, so, like, Facebook affected the elections. So, guess what? You're thinking, no, oh, man, I'm just minding my own business on social media. Even on social media, you're getting brainwashed if you're not careful yeah, enough. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, and I'm not even talking about just like your cookies, you know, when like people are advertising you or whatever you like. Yeah. I'm talking about politically yeah. affected, you know. And so people are like, oh, if you don't have the perception, the understanding, a foundation yeah. of how you know lobbyists work, how politics work, how technology works. I'm not talking about being an expert. None of us are experts in anything, to be mm-hmm. honest. At least I don't think we are experts in anything. Yeah. So, um, but it's just have some kind of knowledge so that you can get and pay it forward like you said you know I always think about like Dave Ramsey think about Jay Z I think about you know those are extremes right but Dave Ramsey talks about his story you know mm-hmm. uh, you know, Jay Z we know his story yeah. and it's like men that are now realizing I can help somebody so they don't have to go through what I went to mm-hmm. and they can you know avoid credit card that one side or mm-hmm. you know avoid labels on the other side because you know labels are the, the rapper's lay system nowadays yeah, and people don't realize that and so mm-hmm. you know that, that the whole thing of this whole rant guys is just Learn, 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 because you think it doesn't affect you. Everything affects you, especially as we're more interconnected because of technology. Everything affects you. A fight in Afghanistan is going to affect your oil prices here, mm-hmm. right? A uh, U.S. invasion somewhere else is going to affect policies here. Venezuela, the reason there's so many Venezuelan people immigrating, right, is because of the policy. Over there. Yeah, the issues with over the, there. With that Maduro guy, right? and yeah. all this issue, you know. And so people are like, oh, you know, it's just overpopulated. Because you don't understand people are escaping struggles and whatever. And all of that affects you. Mm-hmm. All of that affects you, you know? So, just say I'm down to research, too. Say I'm down to knowledge, too. Like, we really believe that we communication matters, conversations matter. 
but development as a human matters. Like, mm-hmm. wanna, I would say better at 70. I want to be the best version of me tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I haven't gotten there yet. I'm not good yet. Mm-hmm. And I think that that includes knowing stuff. That mm-hmm. includes being open and being... Educated. Op- yeah, being open to listen, but also being brave enough to speak. Yeah. Say, hey, look, this is wrong. Yeah. Because I think one of the great things that Jesus said was, you know, this world calls good, bad, and bad, good. Mm-hmm. And, and if you have some kind of morality in you, you got to know what to say. Yo, I don't care what you say it is. I don't care what the populace or the majority says. If this is bad, this is bad. Yeah. And I'm going to stand by what I believe, you know. Because if you cannot stand for nothing, something, you'll fall for everything. Yep, I couldn't agree more. There's no backbone to you if you yep. can't be that person. Yep. Um, you see, whatever you got to add, bro. Cut it in. Whatever yeah, you got to add. Well, you know, uh, like I always say, man, if you thought we were uh, dumb, if you thought we were smart, if you thought we were a genius, if you thought we were stupid... Uh, you already know this. I'm down where we have conversations about anything and everything, and we're open to uh, your comments, your thoughts, your discussions down below. Uh, like, share, comment, all that great stuff. Uh, we appreciate you guys. Uh, those of you guys that watch us, that support us. Uh,